Has Monster Energy Star Yamaha Racing's Hayden Deegan raced his last ever amateur race? Mmm, kinda sorta maybe? Hey, this is Michael Lindsay from Vital MX, and on this news break, we're talking about the upcoming situation with Hayden Deegan heading to the pro ranks. So, has Hayden raced his last amateur race? <clears throat> Not quite. Looks like he may still have a, a couple down the road here, but we've at least seen him take probably his last trip to the ranch down at Loretta Lynn's, where this year he finished out with one of the two championships he lined up for between the 250B and Schoolboy 2 titles, one of the classes, I believe he went DNF 2-1, the DNF being caused uh, by most of the spoke in his rear wheel getting blown out after colliding with Evan Ferry's downed motorcycle, and then of course in the air class, he wrapped up with the perfect sweep with a 1-1-1 moto score, and as per typical with what we see with Loretta's every year, um, one of the 250B motos is always at a really good time of day, this is not knocking, he ain't anything, anyway, anything away from him in the terms of he set the fastest lap time of the week. But that's pretty typical. Usually we always see a kid out of the B class get the top lap time of the week because of the way they structure the motos out. They always seem to get one moto with a really smooth track compared to the A classes that don't get a lot of track prep right before him. So Hayden had the best lap time of the week, definitely showed strong. And there's a lot of interest in would he even consider racing any more amateur races. Again, they are done with Loretta's as far as we can tell. His plan is to race the Ironman National. Well, the next national is Unadilla, then we have Bud's Creek after that, then Ironman, and then Fox Raceway 2. The reason he cannot race Unadilla or Bud's Creek is he does not have a pro license yet. He has finished out the B class, he has no pro-am points. So what they have to do is, I believe, get five finishes in pro-am racing right now. So you, five, I think it's Mo finishes? Whatever, they'll basically be going to Dilla and I believe Bud's Creek to the amateur days to do the pro-am classes to be able to get those points, get his pro license OK, which would put him on the gate for the Ironman National that allow him to race Ironman and if they want to, Fox Raceway too. This puts him in a unique range where depending on his results, if he doesn't score more than 40 points, which as we saw with the two races Rider D already did, he came close, I think about 36. If he finishes under that threshold, he technically could still race Loretta's next year. And no matter how good he is, it's really hard to see an amateur could come out and get four motos in the range of the score at many points. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. Either way, we would suspect that we would see him do those last two nationals and then probably the entire outdoor season next year. Now, what about Supercross? Again, doesn't actually have his pro license yet, so he also does not have a Supercross license. And you have to score those or obtain those separately. Uh, he does have an opportunity to probably get enough points for his pro Supercross license if the AMA decides to structure the points at Minios, the same as they did last year. There is a chance that he could get it in A-class uh, Minios this November. Or if he if they don't do the points the same or just something comes up and he can't race Minios, you know, if he gets hurt or something, uh, there's a high chance he could just do futures the beginning of next year on the West rounds. And if everything's clicking, maybe they do Supercross Freeze. Maybe they wait for outdoors. At this point, that'll be a decision between him and the team. We don't think anything is locked in in terms of Supercross, but we will say at this moment, we will stamp it that you will pretty much 99% sure chance you will see him race the entire Outdoor National Series in 2023, the entire AMA Pro Motocross Championship. And again, we will see him race the last two nationals this year. So we will get to see for all the rabid fans out there, uh, the amount on the Loretta stream that are bringing up the hype train, you will get to see how he will do directly against Jet Lawrence in the final two 250 national races of Jet Lawrence's career as he will go for 50 by the 2023 AMA Pro Motocross Championship. So just kind of breaking it down on what his options are, his path to get to these classes, and what we will likely see him do over the next year. Like we said, do the Pro-Am races here, get in the last national or two of the season, can get his Supercross points in time to do a region next year if they feel comfortable about it, but if not, for sure, we will see him, we believe, on the gate for the entire 23 AMA Pro Motocross Championship. So that's the latest on this one. Got any thoughts on this? Throw in the comments section below. Give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.